You can't go over there, no? One hour. Okay. Looks like the road is closed. We cannot go any further. Good morning from Smolian. Uh, I had a very good night's sleep here. Just right before the rain started, it was a cool thing. David is downstairs in his private garage, covered, locked. I guess he had a good night's sleep too. And today we are going to Trigrad. It's going to be a short ride over there, one hour and a half, and then we will be back hopefully before the rain starts again. The weather here is, as usual, unpredictable. As you can see, there is some of everything. A bit of a sun, a bit of clouds, a bit of rain. Who knows? We'll find out. People told me that the uh, way to Trigrad is awesome and I should do it, so <laughs> let's go. So, here we are, ready to go. As you can see, David is all packed. He's in his new home. He will have another night here. I think he was very happy here. There was another motorcycle who left, so he wasn't even alone. I have my private garage. And we are going to Trigrad. Today we are traveling light, as I'm leaving most of the stuff in the hotel, which is cool and nice. So let's hit the road and uh, I expect to see some nice views. Dark clouds. Ah, this rain is annoying. Anyway, I already put my rain. Uh, my rain trousers, hopefully I won't have to put on the rest of my gear But it looks like it's inevitable here in this region Let's get out of this small town And uh, see what happens Looks like we are going to have a lot of uh, turns and twisties in the forest And as, as long as uh, there is no spectacular view it will be basically more of the same which is more fun to me but boring for you so I think that um, I will um, let you go for a while until uh, I will find something nice to show you and I will just enjoy the road and maybe if the weather will permit us I will think it's about time I will tell you a few things about David because he's a very crucial uh, member in the team which is uh, basically him and I and uh, well maybe you should know more things about him maybe you have questions so uh, let's do it to Trigrad so far there is a bit of a Sun so it's nice but there's one thing I wanted to show you and this is something that is very unique to Bulgaria uh, you can find it in many other places but not as many as in here and I'm talking about this the water fountains that you may find on the way it's just pure water coming out of the mountain and you can find them everywhere in a distance of like two three kilometers each I remember when I was riding horses here in Bulgaria, we used to stop even in the remote places in the mountains and you could find something like this and you could uh, uh, water the horses and even yourself. So this is very nice. Uh, I like it. This is just one of thousands here. Cool, isn't it?
Hey goats, what's going on? This is just so beautiful, I had to stop and show it to you. Goes along the way. And then comes the ugly truck. And if you were wondering how is uh, the road, so uh, I must tell you that until now everything was fine, but when we turned left to uh, Trigrad, we are back to the patches and potholes. Well, in the competition between Bulgaria and Romania, I must say that Bulgaria is taking the first place in potholes and patches. Bulgaria, congratulations, you won the trophy. It is dark in here, it's spooky. David, are you afraid of the dark? David is afraid of anything. He's a beast. As we are passing, I see another mosque on the way. There are plenty of them. Lots of uh, Muslim villages here in this part of uh, the area. Which reminds me that Bulgaria is well known for its tolerance uh, to religions. Uh, which is very nice, I think. It has been like this for many years. You can uh, keep your religion and still uh, live here in harmony with the other people. Back to the twisties! Uh, enough with religion. Maybe this is the true religion. Sort of. So uh, we should pray to the God of the roads. God of roads. And uh, we have a cow. Hi cow. And the God of the roads should have a name. What name shall we give it? And again the road is going along the river. Look how pretty it is. Wow. Breathtaking. But soon I will have a very important announcement for you all. Uh, this is really impressive. You have to be very careful in those roads. You have a lot of sand, water and cars. And some, I guess the road was washed away. Okay, David, let's go. A bit of a mud. It was completely unexpected. We made it. Wow, back to the asphalt. I don't like, well, I don't mind riding gravel, but mud is usually tricky. Oops, road is closed. That's it. It's, it's closed. You can't go over there, no? One hour. Okay. Looks like the road is closed. We cannot go any further. He says that uh, they will open it within an hour. So I don't think that we will wait here. We should turn around. Oh, that was completely unexpected. Oh well. We were so close, four kilometers away from Trigrad. Next time. As we are standing here by the water and uh, hoping that they will open the road faster than uh, we think. Uh, 
Well, there is nothing that you cannot fix with the duct tape. You see, this is my uh, tank bag, which was uh, brutally damaged by the hailstorm. And it has this plastic thing that is covering its upper part. This plastic thing was broken by the hail. Like, it got really strong hits. So there's nothing that I could do but to put this beautiful duct tape over here. And it is as good as new. So I guess the duct tapes can fix anything. Uh, I even put those here on the side because my 21 brother bag was scratching the paint. So duct tape heals and fixes everything and I, should, I think that we should start using it by uh, with uh, treatment of different diseases. I bet that it can treat anything. Okay, it looks like this road is not going to be open soon. We've been standing here for 30 minutes, nothing is happening. So I guess that there is no other way for us but to go back and maybe visit Trigrad some other time. Only 5 kilometers away from this uh, nice place. Hey David, we go back. Hey, so I promised you a few words about David. So here he is. David is nothing but an old, eight years old, Suzuki Vistrum 650. He's not very special because he looks like other millions of him, I guess, that are on the road, but he is very special for me because he takes me places and he's doing a very good job. And uh, let me show you a few things that uh, we have it on him. First, he is eight years old, he did something like 70,000 kilometers. I try to keep him uh, in good health, make all the treatments on time, change the oils and filters on time, so he is well kept. There is nothing really serious important about him, he has an ABS only, no traction control in this generation. My tires, well, for the rear one I'm using Metzler, nothing important. And I have a Firelli, uh, I think it's called uh, something trail, or oh, I don't know. If you are interested, I can show it to you. The fuel consumption of David is very good. I can, and he has a very large tank of 20 liters, which uh, usually might last for 400 kilometers and more, depends on the way you ride. I'm uh, using uh, this tank bank for my travelers my travels usually I don't use it at home I don't really need to but over here I found it very useful so you put uh, all your small stuff cameras batteries and it's very accessible uh, I'm using uh, for my luggage and I don't carry much uh, 21 uh, brothers bag I will uh, show it to you later on I don't have it here with me because we just is sufficient for me because I'm using this top case. I know that some people don't like top cases, and in this case, you can take, uh, you can get a 50 liters uh, bag from them, and I, it's more than enough for motorcycle traveling. Of course, uh, the bag is sitting over here on the back, and uh, if you uh, have a pillion, that's not an option. Uh, other or if you will just give up the top case. Um, I'm using a Vemmer helmet, adventure one, uh, which uh, I think it's okay, but it's a bit too heavy and it is very noisy. I have it for three years and I think that I will replace it in, uh, when I come back home. I will find something lighter and uh, maybe something that will be really more quieter. What else? I can tell you. Um, in order to have most of the motorcycles will come today with a 12 volt or a special uh, USB socket. David didn't have it. I had it installed in my garage. Um, problems on the road with David? None whatsoever. So far he was running smoothly. 
I had to, didn't have to do any changes. As for me, what I'm wearing in the usual, I have uh, uh, former boots. I'm wearing this special jacket, which I recommend to everybody. It's made of halite, it's French uh, made. The big thing about it is that it's an inflatable. This is the trigger, which is uh, connected to this thing on a motorcycle, you see? So if I am ejected, if I am ejected from a motorcycle, this will pull the trigger and um, the jacket will be inflated in 0.1 second and gives me more protection to the torso, which is very important. Uh, that's it for now. A few seconds about David, my traveling gear. It's not that complicated and remember, if you want to go on a long trip and you have a motorcycle in your home, then this is the most motorcycle you, can use, you should use. You don't need special high technology motorcycle, expensive adventure, uh, elephants or uh, renos. All you need is your motorcycle. I mean, if it is mechanically preserved, he will do the job and you can go everywhere with it. And it doesn't matter if it's a new one or an old one. You just keep it, uh, keep it maintained well and it will do the job for you. <laughs> so as I told you, I found a name for the God of the Road. The name for the God of the Road is Drumzeu, which is uh, in Romanian means Drum is a road, uh, a way, and Zeu means God. So Drumzeu is the new God, and you have a new God, then you have to establish, establish a new religion. And the good thing about religion is that when you establish a new religion, it won't take too long until you will find people who will believe in it. And guess what? I already found someone who believes in it, and he's a true worshiper. And let's see him in his prayer to the asphalt road, the Drumzeu prayer. Look how it looks like over here in the mountains of Bulgaria. Let's be quiet then, because I can see him coming from the bushes. He's a true believer, so keep quiet so we won't disturb him in his sacred prayer. Okay, I think we have to cross that mud trap again. How nice it is the road was washed away here and uh, I wonder if what if this is what happened after the last storm that I experienced when I was riding to Varna and Burgas or was it just the winter in time who did it anyway going back is uh, much nicer and uh, you can have uh, a good view of uh, the river this car is waiting for me yeah you see the road is washed out over here as well okay so i will leave you to that um, i will keep dealing with the potholes and the patches uh, if you like this episode Please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment.